This country is a country of openness, of respect, of compassion, of the rule of law, of the rights of the individuals, of freedom. Freedom from fear, freedom from crime, freedom to love who you want and not be judged for it, freedom to do what you want with your body, with your body, with your body. Oui, on va s'en sortir de cette pandémie par la vaccination. Puis on, si on en connaît tous des gens qui sont en train d'hésiter un petit peu, on va continuer d'essayer de les convaincre. Mais il y a aussi des gens qui sont farouchement opposés à la vaccination. Qui sont extrémistes. Qui ne croient pas dans la science, qui sont souvent misogynes, souvent racistes aussi. See that he has black face makeup on. It's covering his face, neck, his arms and hands. And you can see between the tears in his jeans there that he also appears to have the makeup down his legs as well. This as you mentioned, is the third image of him within about 12 hours that has come out. Darkening your face, uh, regardless of the context or the circumstances, is always unacceptable because of the racist history of blackface. I should have understood that then. Uh, and I never should have done it. Mais il y a aussi des gens qui sont farouchement opposés à la vaccination. Qui sont extrémistes. Qui croient pas dans la science. So the question is, why? Why have cheap, safe and effective drugs been ignored for the treatment of COVID-19, which could have saved maybe 500,000 lives? I'm not a representative of industry, but I'll pretend I'm one. I make a flu vaccine every year and it sells and it protects right. people to the degree right. that we so can you have expect. No incentive. Right. Why the hell? Would I go spend $400 million right. to do this thing, which may be great, and then if it's right. really great, you give it once or twice or right. five times. And, uh, and that's where the federal government comes in. But these are crimes. You know what's going on in this country right now? Is that the CDC has been captured by the pharmaceutical industry. They sent out a memo in August of 2021. They sent out a similar memo back in the spring of 2020, telling the nation's physicians and pharmacists not to use generic medicines. These medications will not be verified or dispensed for the prevention or treatment of COVID. Ivermectin, bicalutamide, etopsicide, fluvoxamine, dutesteride, and finasteride. And then just to stick it to me, they added ascorbic acid. So the first week I was in the ICU, I didn't know what to do. What was I to do? My hands were tied. As a clinician for the first time in my entire career, I could not be a doctor. I had seven COVID patients, including a 31-year-old woman. I was not allowed to treat these people. I had to stand by idly. I had to stand by idly watching these people die.